There oh. There goes the top. I can't tell what that is. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Smashbrush. In my previous upload, I did an entire video about the new Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. There's just so much drama and controversy on it that I kind of wanted to investigate on my own. So I bought myself an Amazon digital microscope and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it was just super, super interesting. So actually, in my comments down below, I had so many people suggest that I should put other things under the microscope, such as other lipsticks, that way we're able to see the comparisons. The reason why I actually didn't get to do it is just because I knew that that video was gonna be so long, and I didn't wanna make it into an hour long video. So this is kind of gonna be like a part two to that, except now it's not gonna be the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. It's gonna be a bunch of other brand lipsticks and we're gonna see what is actually inside these lipsticks if we're being too harsh on her lipsticks or if something's up you know I kind of just want to know for myself now I bought lipsticks of all price ranges starting from YSL all the way down to five and below yes five and below and I am super interested in seeing like what I'm gonna find if I'm gonna find something so if this is a video that you're interested in then just keep watching and without further ado Let's get to it. So before I get into the actual diving and dissecting of the lipsticks, I had an article that was brought to my attention and I'm gonna share it with you guys. So I'm gonna have it down in my description and I'll put a little screenshot there too, that way you guys can kind of see. But basically it was um, an article by Tintalia and it spoke about how this person has swatched, reviewed like thousands and thousands of lipsticks throughout the years. And it started comparing the Jaclyn Hill ones, basically stating everything that Jaclyn Hill lipsticks have been like accused of not to say that they were wrong and this person wasn't necessarily defending the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks but they were trying to just inform the readers of what's normal in lipsticks what they did find what is like acceptable I guess so I'm just gonna summarize the four main points that really caught my attention and what I'm gonna be looking out within these lipsticks same thing as I did for the Jaclyn Hill ones so the first one it says are sweaty lipsticks normal and the answer was yes it's actually very common the second one is is, are small holes in lipsticks normal? And the answer was yes, it is very common. Three, are grainy or gritty lipsticks normal? They're exceedingly rare. The fourth one and final one is, are lint and fibers on lipsticks normal? And the answer was they're more common than you think. So if you guys want to see like the full description of each one of those things that I just summarized, again, go ahead and click the link. But that is basically what we're looking for within each lipstick today. So we're going to be looking for air bubbles, for lint, for hairs, for small holes. Oh, and if they're sweaty lipstick. So the lipsticks that I have bought, I'm gonna start off from, I, mean, I guess I'm gonna start from low and then bring it up to high. Actually, this was Xavier's idea to go to five and below and buy the lipsticks because there were so many comments of people saying like, I bet a $1 lipstick has better like hygienic standards and you know, quality control. So we're gonna put that to the test today and we're gonna try out these five and below lipsticks. This brand is called Smoke and Mirrors. I don't know <laughs> but there's a nude in there so let's go ahead and check that out I bought this one by Revlon because I wanted to try out a drugstore brand this next one is also a pretty new lipstick that has just launched and this is the Huda Beauty lipsticks I'm gonna kind of be heartbroken because I have been wanting to really try this out and now I'm just gonna cut it up and then the last and final one is the Rouge Per Couture the YSL lipsticks YSL has like these super common lipsticks the one that has like a little color strip on the the end this one is a different formulation from that one my reason behind that was because I was trying my best to find a very very similar formulation to the Jaclyn Hill ones so with that there's really nothing else left to say let's get on with this experiment all right so I have my lipsticks lined up here by the way I did forget to also mention that I will be using this very old used Mac lipstick I have had this for like years so this should be interesting to look into 
the first one that I'm gonna be using is this one right here. It came in this box. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. Looks like this, and it already touched the top of this. Not that I put it there, but it just touched. I don't know, I guess it was already like that. I'm gonna go ahead and look straight into this. Okay, so we see there lots of shimmer bits. There is, oh, look at that. There's a little black there's actually, something there. There's actually a few. Oh yeah, out there too, ew. Yeah, there's actually a few Interesting. black Interesting. What is that considered, grainy? This is like grainy bits, yeah. And down here, let's go ahead and check this out. And this one's a little hard to see, but look, you see them there too. And there, wow. But I don't know, I don't know if those are grainy or if those are glitter bits or like air bubbles, I mean. It just looks like more shimmer. I mean, uh, more of those grainy textures. Yeah, there you go. Mmm, ew. Whoa. Whoa. Ew, that looks disgusting. Yeah, that actually looks really bad. So this is the five below one. This is the five and below one. Wow. It's like the blackheads on my nose. <laughs> oh, babe. <laughs> <laughs> like from my naked eye, I don't see anything. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually swatch it on my hand. Um, let me use my hand sanitizer. That way nobody thinks that like my hand was all furry or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this lipstick like right here. And we're just gonna go like that. I don't see any grainy bits here. I don't see anything here. So let's go ahead and inspect how this looks like now after it's been, you know, used. All right, so some of these things are, ew, look oh, at that. Nasty. That's red stuff. Ew, you just put that on your skin. See now, that red stuff can't be, I don't think it's the, the shimmer, I, I don't know. That wouldn't be like, pieces of pigment or whatever oh my god that's a lot what the hell was that that's the same thing it was like it was dark before and i like just activated whatever was there <laughs> activated yeah look up there too it was black before right yeah boom okay so just shaved off a fresh piece and now we're gonna go ahead and put this under the microscope all right, so this is the fresh piece. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that, that this it, one's gross. This one's really bad. I mean, it doesn't look like it's part of the shimmer, you know? It looks like actual, Ooh, what oh. Is that? <gasps> Ew. You think we could like pick it off? You wanna use the tweezers? Okay, I think I picked it up. You see that? Ew. What is that? So now I'm gonna go ahead and do a halfway point. All right, so let's go ahead and put this under a microscope. It broke up super ugly, but whatever. So as we're looking down, I mean, that was uh, the piece. Yeah. yeah, these are the pieces that were like, you know. I don't really see that many red dots in this well, one. Well, I, I see them, but they're, they're very light. It's not like how it was on top. But I don't see any black things anymore. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, there's some red there. There's some black oh, there. Oh yeah, there are, there are, they're up there, right there. Oh look, that little metal looking oh, yeah, piece yeah, yeah. there, right? I wouldn't call it metal. Well, you know, like that super shiny yeah. shimmery piece. I don't know what that is. It's hard to say because the whole thing is shimmery. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down at the base. Oh, all right, so this is what it looks like at the very base. Like that's the very whole part. <laughs> the very whole part. The whole part. Another little red piece there. Well, there's that. There's not much of anything. It's just a bunch of Here, glitter let me bits. Raise the brightness and try to center that whole. Here, I can go like that. No, yeah, you can't. No, it's not. No, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so what I like to do is cut this um, vertically to see if there's anything else in there. Like in between. Yeah. Besides the black dots, there's no pubic hair. Okay, yeah, so this one is vertically cut. We have more red things there. Yeah, some of this looks like that spam meat. <laughs> 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 Just thrown with a little bit of glitter in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. 
See, we might be saying ill, and it's probably like just something completely normal, but it kind of looks gross when well, it's something. Well, as of right now, it's starting to look normal. I mean, yeah, like throughout the whole. We, we just gotta go and check the other ones. So that is it for our five and below lipsticks. Gonna go ahead and clean this up, sterilize this stuff, and no, I'm kidding, but really just clean this out. And we're gonna go on to our next lipstick. Next one is our Revlon lipstick. This one's completely sealed, so I'm gonna go ahead and rip this open. This one is a Revlon lipstick, super lustrous lipstick in the color 130. I'm just gonna inspect it right away. Oh, there looks like there's like a sweat mark there in the middle. Oh, actually no, it looks like it's supposed to look like that. So I'm gonna open it up all the way, see if there's any visible things. It looks super like luscious. Let's put this under the microscope. That looks good. Yeah, this does this uh, this looks very luscious. Can you put the brightness down a little bit? There is like a two-part layer thing. So it's like it's one color wait, here. Wait, 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 what was right there? Ooh. Something there. Hold up. This thing would stop freezing up. It looks like a a yeah. hairline trace kind of thing. Like a, it fell on it. Oh, oh right there. What oh. is that? Oh, never that mind. Hair? Yeah, I think so. It looks like it's the hair printed on it, like kind of like make a made a fossil type thing. Put it on there. Well, I'm gonna try to dig that out, but um, let's see if there's anything else. I mean, like the girl even said that like finding white fuzzies, finding white fuzzies is a lot more common than we think. This is like a MythBusters type of uh, thing going on. Mm -hmm. Gonna see how common they are. This one looks pretty clean though. Yeah, this one's like really clean. It's just besides like that one thing. Okay, fine, fine. We'll do the swatch first. Ooh, it's like super creamy. Okay. All right, so those lines are just because of the swatch. Oh, oh. What is that? Interesting. That looks like a black hair. Actually, I want to see what the heck that hair is. Well, so that, that just looks like one of those white little fuzz. Okay. Okay, so this is the little fuzzy thing that I found. I mean, it looks like a regular fuzz, you know? It doesn't look like a hair. There's no like follicle or bulb or whatever it's called. If I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt, I could easily say too that it might have fallen on my hand while I swatched it. So could be a couple different things, but it doesn't seem like a big deal. Well, I mean, when we first looked at it, but the, the top of it there was no yeah there was nothing there that's what i'm saying okay so whatever was there before is not there now so i don't know maybe it wasn't anything i felt like i saw something there though so i don't know okay so let's move on i'm gonna go ahead and do a thin cut on this now all right so let's see how this looks like under the microscope Okay, so this one... Oh, I see a little thing there. A little arrow. It looks like dot. an air, yeah. I don't know if it's an air bubble or something. A little glimmer bit. No, this looks pretty no, clean. This is this pretty, is, this is yeah. really clean, actually. It's actually really solid. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the halfway point. All right, so I'm gonna see how this looks like under the microscope. There is... Yeah, this is good. Yeah, it's really clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna do a cut in it at the base. This is how the base part looks like. I'm sorry for the lagginess, guys. No, guys, this is... This, that's pretty clean. Okay. So now let's do the um, vertical point. I'm going to cut down the middle. Okay, so this is the vertical point. Looks clean to me. Yeah, this is like very clean. Shoot, compared to the other one that we saw. I mean, we saw a bunch we of We saw <laughs> thumbs up on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this part up and we're gonna go on to the next lipstick. 
Okay, so up next is, we are moving up. It is the new Huda Beauty lipsticks. This one, I'm like super interested in seeing this, but mainly because I, I love the way it looks like on other people on social media. It has a little sticker, it's called Anniversary. All right, so this is, ooh, I already see an air bubble. You already see an air bubble? And it looks very gritty. Oh, what is that? What is that? All right, it's time to look at it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I see, but um, I'm gonna, let's let's observe it under the microscope. Look at that. There is black dot on it. Wait, let me rotate it straight. Look at that. Yep, there's another one there. There's another one there, and there's like, I think the lipstick itself is textured. Yeah, I was gonna say that there's a bunch of little things that are tech that because even when you look at it, like it looks very textury. Yeah. But some of it looks a little funny, like at least those black dots do, you know? Yeah. So that is that. Let's look at it up over here. I don't know, like the the formulation of this one is just a little different. Oh, there, oh. there goes the top. Wow. All right, put the put the brightness a little lower. Mm -hmm. So those are the air bubbles, right? Um, so I, is it air bubbles? Yeah, or is that, that's what. Oh the, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, air people bubbles. are saying that's air bubbles. According to the article, apparently, like air bubbles are actually pretty common. So let me do the flip side of the tip. There was something that I saw. I don't know what side it's on. Oh, there you I go. Oh. I can't tell what that is. That looks like it a looks black like, hair or it fiber. Like, it kind of has like a blue look uh, to yeah, it, a bluish tone to it. I wonder if I'm gonna get hate for this. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out. Okay, I know it's in here. I lifted it, it's off. You lifted it? Up. Okay, so that is what I saw on the lipstick. But it's blue. But it's blue, yeah. And I'm gonna try to put it down on the white paper and like seclude it, see if there's any roots or anything to it. No. No, no we lost it. But I mean, you guys saw it. There was definitely something there. I'm gonna go ahead and now swatch it on my hand. So this is what's inside. Is that black stuff? No. Mm -mm. Nothing there. I see texture, that's about it. All right, well, I mean, this one looks pretty clean. So let's go ahead and do a very thin cut on this. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so this one has a lot of black dots everywhere, but I think that's literally just a texture of, of the actual lips. Oh, I just touched no, things. I don't see nothing. Up there, those are just air bubbles. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do a halfway cut. So this is what I see right off the bat. I don't know what that is. That looks pretty interesting. Yeah, look. Yeah, there is something definitely in there. Yeah, that one looks different. Same thing with but that these, one. No, but that one, these are indented. That one looks almost like it's coming out. But that one too, look. See, I would try to lift it off, but I don't think I'm gonna yeah, have any. We're gonna be able to, it's not gonna be able to. Yeah, I'm not, there's no way I can take it off. And I we, tried. First of all, we have like, we do not have surgical hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you're like in there. I'm like, ah. I, I hope I got it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that um, base cut. Oops. Ooh, careful with your nails. Careful with your fingers, first of all. See, but these look a little different. I don't no, know. Those look, these don't look normal. Like this, that's indented. You can tell that's indented. This looks like stuff that's growing out, outwards. So I'm gonna do that um, vertical cut here. Let's see if I see anything. All right, so. I don't know, those don't look like air pockets, babe. I mean, there's nothing black inside of them, but that that looks like there's something in there. I can't. The, yeah, that, those, that looks that looks like earlier on the base. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Could we hold it sideways and you look to see if anything's poking out? Yeah, maybe. But they just look like holes. Yeah, that's why I want it, because it, from the top, it looks like it's like a bubble, but... Wait, let me... I'm just saying, it looks like there's like, 
It's like a blackhead. A blackhead doesn't necessarily stick out. It's inside. That's what I'm saying. It looks like there's something inside of it. All right, so this ends so the Huda Beauty one. Okay, now the very last one is gonna be this one right here. It is a YSL lipstick. I am like super, super curious to see how this one's gonna come out. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little surprised at the Huda Beauty one. So I wonder just how like good this one is uh, made and I tried to get a consistency that was pretty similar to the Jaclyn Hill one in the sense that it's not too sheer, has pretty good pigment, it's like creamy and rich so I also got a nude-ish color and, and this is how it looks like. Oh that's cool, it's got the YSL print on it. Bougie. Bougie. Let's go ahead and put this under the microscope and let's see how that looks like. Do you see that? What the heck is that? Uh, I would say that's sweat, right? That looks like eggs. <laughs> no, baby. Oh, actually, that does look like sweat. It looks like sweat. Yeah, never mind. Disregard. Claro. Look at me trying to make un escándalo. No, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. I think it looks I'm like right something off. touched it. Yeah. But what is that? That is that sweat too? Yeah. yeah, that's sweat. Yeah, it's a sweat thing. And something touched the top. 360 now. Look how cool it is. That's, These that's people. There's even sweat in there. They sweat. But sweat, sweat is okay, right? Yeah, sweat's okay. Sweat's like normal. Um, I've seen in the past like my lipsticks get sweaty. That just looks like more sweat. Yeah, that's like the sweat bits. So this is the first one that's like actually clean, clean. That one almost looks, the second black hole on the bottom almost looks like something's coming out, right? Mm, there's sweat on top of it. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm literally just gonna put my fingerprint over it to try to clear off the sweat that's there. No, now that I see it, it look, that looks like air bubbles. Yeah, I see a little fiber. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys see that, right? A little fiber piece right there. That was like literally all the way down at the base. So I am gonna go ahead and now do a swatchity swatch. Let's go ahead and see how this looks like now under a swatch. All right, so this is just from like the creaminess when it gets lifted off. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> like nothing at all. All right, so let's go ahead and do now a thin slice. I think I see a little dark something there. Almost like an air bubble. For sure. Yeah. For sure that's an air bubble. That was it. Ooh, you see it crystally like, whoa. This thing is clean. Yeah, this thing's really clean. I mean, for freaking, what was it? $38? $38, yeah. It better be clean. I'm gonna go ahead and now do a halfway cut. <laughs> I don't know why this hurts me to like cut this one up because it's so pretty and I'm just like oh my god I'm cutting up a 36 36 38 dollar lipstick plus tags <laughs> plus, <laughs> plus tags and I'm cutting it right at the YSL mark <laughs> yeah I don't see anything yeah, so I saw that, but that doesn't look like anything at all yeah it looks exactly the same I the know the, the thing is clean yeah, this looks just like Ray's like lipstick. Dang, all that sharpness, shink. <laughs> oh, it's all right, and let's do the base mark. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell, like those little bits. It's just literally because I raised it up with the razor. No, this chunk is solid clean. Let's do a vertical cut. All right, so this is all the vertical cut. There is, yeah, there is nothing, is nothing on this lipstick. When you did the down the middle cut for the Jaclyn Hill one, there was oh, a hair. Oh, that's where I found the hair. That's when you found yeah, the hair. Yeah, and with that's the follicle, with the follicle yeah, in yeah. it, yeah, or the hair bulb or whatever it is. This one was completely cleaned. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean this stuff out, and we're going to go to our very, very last lipstick. 
Okay guys, so for my final one, I am going to be using this MAC lipstick, but this is a super, super, like super old lipstick. This is in the color Heroin, like back when this was like super poppin'. I'm gonna say right off the bat, it's used, it's dirty, but I haven't used it in like a really long time. I kind of just went back. So whatever's on top, I know is definitely, cause I see something brown like surrounding it. That is like a mixture of stuff, you Do know? Do you know how long makeup's supposed to, like, um, Lipsticks, okay, for example, like the YSL one, it says after 24 months, so after two years, it's gone. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like under the microscope. Again, um, there's already stuff around it that's like old. Prepare it to be grossed out. I'm gonna say, like the main reason why I'm doing this because I wanna see how the inside looks like. Okay, so you see all those red bits there? Okay, there's like a brown layer around. Ew. <laughs> Guys, this is like a mixture of stuff. Like this lipstick is legit dirty. That's uh, even a hair. <laughs> Yo, do not bomb me on this. Be gentle because I have not used this lipstick in like a long time. Oh, look at that. There's sweat marks everywhere. Yeah. Side's looking pretty clean though. Like it's looking solid. Which is kind of crazy. For like a five-year-old lipstick, yeah. I'm gonna cut off that top layer. And we swatch nothing. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to swatch that. <laughs> nah, you gotta get a little deeper than that. No, I'm not gonna get deeper than that. I want to see how it looks like in here. Yeah. Hmm, look at that. That's clean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, like, look at that. That looks like an air bubble down there. That is. That's crazy. This is pretty. Oh. But no, that looks no. That looks embedded the in there. Clean. The razor's clean. That looks embedded in there. Yeah. Gonna go ahead and do the halfway mark. I do see some little black dots, but I think that's all within the pigment of the uh, purple. Yeah, this, I mean, it broke apart like Play-Doh. Yeah, it does look like Play-Doh. Let's go ahead and do a base point. Yeah, this is breaking apart like so badly, but this is the base point. Why do you think that is? It's because it's old, I think. It's like not as creamy anymore. Mm. Okay, so. Yeah, that's looking pretty dry. Yeah, that's what it is. I think it's like... So you think that's how they age? Like, they just become dry? I, I mean, I feel like it, yeah. I feel like there's a little black mark there. A little black... Yeah, but that's what I was saying before. Like, I feel like that's all a part of the pigment of, in itself. In the Jaclyn Hill one, the black stuff was like... Like, yeah, it yeah, was... Like that, it was significant. It was everywhere, and too. And it was everywhere, and yeah. it didn't, it's not like it matched with the color. Like, purple always has black. You know? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and do a vertical cut on this. So this is how the vertical cut looks like. Is that a hair? I, I can't even, I can't even say. It, it looks like it wants to be one, but. It also looks like the part of the whole line. I think that is a hair, actually. I can't, I can't see it for myself. Can you put the brightness a little bit higher? Even with that, that's crazy how clean this looks like. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me do the other side. Oh. That is definitely. A her. A her. This thing freezes up. That's the worst part. I would tell you to get a freaking Happy Meal telescope. <laughs> Microscope. <laughs> telescope. I give up. But we saw something there, right? I mean, that's how. It, that just goes to show like how tiny these little hairs are. Yeah. Well, I mean, overall though, like this was pretty clean. It really wasn't like the Jaclyn Hills at all, man. Like, oh, I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna kind of summarize everything, my thoughts. Okay guys, so you have seen everything here, live, dissected, experimented on, I don't know. <laughs> But I kind of want to talk about like the best, the worst, the ones that were kind of in the middle. So hands down, the worst that I saw was definitely that Smoke and Mirrors Ultra Shine Lipstick, the five and below one. A lot of weird things going on there. There was a lot of red stuff. There was black stuff. I don't know. This one was, this one was questionable, man. The one that was kind of like in the middle for me was definitely the Huda Beauty one. I didn't expect it to look the way it did. Kind of had a higher expectation of this one. Out of all the clean ones though, the ones that I have like on a scale one of them being uh, the Revlon ones this one actually surprised me the most I actually like didn't think this would be as clean as it was but it was 
pretty spotless. The cleanest one out of all of them was obviously the YSL one. I am relieved <laughs> that I didn't find anything because these lipsticks are extremely expensive. This is a $38 lipstick. Now uh, I'm gonna start buying YSL lipsticks, babe. <laughs> <laughs> His face, he did the, the this face up. And then the last one that was actually clean as well was the MAC lipsticks. And that is that this lipstick, I literally think it's like five years old. Yeah, that ends this lipstick experiment, this lipstick mystery, myth busters kind of thing going on. If there's any other video suggestions that you guys have for me, anything else that you would like me to put under a microscope, let me know. I'm literally not gonna use this microscope for anything else other than probably just like makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on that notification bell. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It is at smashbrush underscore at the very end. And that is it guys. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.